all and congratulations. Do you have to leave? Allison's out there. Some point. Okay. See you in a minute. Wait, come here. Come here. Sleeping here tonight. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll send you back. Wait, yeah, actually, yes. Tell we'll give it to you tonight. Why not? That's what you want. Congratulations. That mic is adjusted. That mic is adjusted. Hey, Grant Lawley. Should, should, I, should I use the mic or? Uh, yeah. Hey, Dwight. Hi. Yeah. Use the mic. Okay. Uh, I'll talk more soon. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, thank you very much. It's, it is a tremendous honor for me and, uh, and a challenge uh, to live up to the, the trust that you are giving me today, uh, which is to stand for liberty and stand for freedom and, and never lose that focus. And, and when we move forward and go down, when we're down in Washington, to understand you know, the forces that are at work you know, in this country today. I see it, I, I'm, I'm a book publisher and a practicing attorney. I see it every day. I see the increasing encroachment on our freedoms, on our personal freedoms, on our economic freedoms, you know, right on our price to property. I see it every day uh, from the government, unfortunately, at, at virtually every level. Um, but what I see, what I see at the federal level is frankly terrifying. I've spoken to, to the, the, the meetings of your committees and we've talked with some more detail about it. But um, this is a country that was founded. It's not. A, it's not a tribe. Um, it's not a religious sect. This country was built on an idea. That idea is that that, that we are free people. That this government is a limited government. That 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 the actions of, of the British, uh, the, the British monarch, the British the, the British tyrant, uh, was was uh, was an offense against the natural rights of, of, of all free peoples. Um, and, we were founded in this country, and this Constitution was founded on the notion. Sorry, this Constitution was founded on the notion that this is that this government was to be a limited government, that that the purpose of the government was to allow private people to live and thrive and to frankly be left alone. Um, and that is that is the that is the, the mantra that I've I've been a libertarian since I was a teenager. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I growing. Growing up on, uh, on Milton Friedman's Free to Choose, and, and more exotically on the Prisoner uh, PBS, and, but these are important. These are important cultural markers. Um, and, and later in reading, and I to this day, I keep a copy of Friedrich Hayek's Road to Serfdom uh, by my desk. Uh, it's a very important message. It was written in, I believe, I believe 1943, um, at a time when great tyrannies, great despotisms totalitarian systems were, were expanding their reach across this globe. And you had both fascism and, and communism. And by the way, they're not very different at the end of the day. Uh, uh, holding, holding sway, not just geographically, not just over, not just physically, controlling the, 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 peak, the territory and the bodies of millions and hundreds of millions of people. But perhaps more insidiously, those, those totalitarianisms held tremendous sway over the minds people who presume themselves to be intellectuals at that time. So I actually saw the, the Road to Serfdom at the time was one of the great, great heresies. Um, it was written again in the middle of World War II. Uh, but it is actually a tremendous lesson for, for, for them and for all time, which is that untraveled, that, that, that totalitarian government, a government that is not severely limited and controlled, will run amok and will seek to control everything. So. Um, I think those lessons that Friedrich Hayek has taught us are all important. Um, the observations that he made about the systems at the time, again, were all important. And uh, I think that's part of the genesis of, 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 our, of really of the whole libertarian movement. So um, again, I don't want I don't, there's a lot of business to be had this afternoon. Let me just say as far as this race, I'm, I'm carrying this race forward. I'm proud to carry the libertarian banner. Um, I'm also running on the conservative line and the Republican line. So. Uh, we're going to have three lines going forward, but philosophically, we are we are united. Which is, we believe in freedom, we believe in individual liberty, we believe in limited government, we believe in, in the Bill of Rights, uh, we believe in, in that 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 the best comes out of private people doing for themselves and their families, and not the government doing for people.
very sincerely believe that. I'm carrying that forward. I'm running against Steve Israel, who is one of the most uh, insidious statists out there, um, who uh, uh, is very much an operative uh, for Barack Obama. And again, Barack Obama is someone who has now increased the size and scope by more than 25% of the federal government just in, just in his first term. He's trying to continue that trend. We're going to stop that. We're going to have to roll that back. And I look forward to, to, to fighting with all of you for freedom and to uh, to finally bringing change to this country. And I thank you very much. Yes. I just want to point out that last time Steve Israel had an opportunity to vote for an assault weapon ban, he did so. I'm sure he did. Yes.